Hey, hey, welcome back to another guide of mine. This time I'm going to show you how to set up a dedicated server for Satisfactory. Just a little heads up though, this setup is by the far the weirdest way to set up a server from my experience. If you don't want to follow along with my video, there is a site out there that will try to guide you. It's satisfactory.wiki.gg slash wiki slash dedicated underscore servers. But other than that, let's begin. Alright, if you do want your friends joining your server, you will need to set up port forwarding on your router. Ports to port forward are going to be 77777 and 8888. As I have mentioned in my other videos, Google this if you don't know how to port forward on your current router. Once you have port forwarded all your ports, you can use this website to check and see if your ports are open. You get signal.com slash tools slash open dash ports slash. First off, download Steam CMD if you haven't already on the machine you'll be hosting server so simply just open up a browser and just type in steam cmd downloads and make sure it's on this one go to steam cmd web developer community click on windows click on the links to download the files so while you are still downloading steam cmd let's just go ahead to your c drive and we'll just make a new folder called steam cmd all right okay once you have steam cmd downloaded it should be in the downloads folder just go ahead and right click hit extract all you can browse and we'll go to this pc c drive and we're gonna look for that new folder you just created called steam cmd let's go ahead and select the folder and just hit extract and once it's in this folder it should just only have this steam cmd.exe file and once you double click on it, it will go ahead and populate all these other files that you need here. And that's it. Okay, while we have this Steam command open, or Steam CMD open, we're going to run the following commands. So we're going to do force underscore install dirc colon backslash satisfactory server. And what this is going to do is make a new folder in our C drive called satisfactory server. All right, and then the next one we're going to do is login anonymous. The next one we're going to do is app underscore validate 1690800 space validate. And what this is going to do is update the server files that we need on our C drive. Excuse me. I was burping. And also, if you do need to ever update your server to the latest version, just rerun these commands within Steam CMD. All right. And once you have that all over, You can just simply close that out and we're gonna go to that new folder that we just created in our C drive which is satisfactory server right here all right we're gonna double click into it and you should have these certain files right here and what we're gonna do is create a new batch file and before we do that just make sure your view section right here has the show and hide the file name extensions check mark all right make sure you have that all right and then we're going to name this called start and then we're going to navigate to the back of the file extensions from txt to bat and then if you get this prompt just hit yes and now we're going to right click and hit edit and then we are going to paste this uh, script in here which is going to start this factory server.exe and show logs and it's going to be unattended and leave these by default okay these are how your friends are going to be joining you through this port and this is the backup port all right and i will go ahead and be leaving this in description down below in the timeline so just copy and paste that into your batch file all right and just hit file save or control save and you can just close that out and we can simply just start it up and it should look like this all right, while well, it's doing this thing, we do need to grab the dedicated machine's IP address. And how to do that, we'll just need to launch command prompt from the start menu. All right, and now we just need to simply do this IP config. Let's just simply type this in and make sure you grab the IPv4 address. Make note of that. 
I do recommend setting up a static IP on your dedicated machine so this IP won't change later. Google this if you don't know what I'm talking about, okay? All right, and now we'll need to be launching the game from the client machine or the gaming machine. Okay, so while we're at the menu screen, we're gonna do new game, and then we're gonna go to multiplayer settings. All right, and change your session type to IP. And that's what exactly what we want, and then just hit apply. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory, so we can at your discretion. Just apply, and now we need to go to server manager. I already have my server here, so I will go ahead and um, just remove it just for purposes. And then we're gonna add the uh, IPv4 uh, address that we just took note of. Okay. Just leave the port 7777. And if you get this certificate warning, just hit confirm. Alright, and then it will probably ask you to set up your password, your admin password. And this is my server password. Alright, so once you're in there, you do have the status. And first, you'll need to create a game here first. Session, session name, start the game if you want to, but I do recommend putting changing the server name and making an admin password on the server settings and make a player password protection as well. And you can look at some people do the settings if you want to. Um, they have managed saves, you can create saves, load saves, upload saves, download saves. If you guys do know, go ahead and feel free to comment down below. But once you do create the name, it should show like this. Or your, or my, my case session is called RG Gaming. And then you should have a status down here to join the game. And just simply just join the game. And let's see if that works. Alright. So that did work indeed. Okay. And you can always manage your sessions to see who's in and um, for some reason this session ID never really works I don't know if it's meant to be like this but apparently you're supposed to give the session ID over to your friends they put in the session ID and then they can join the server well that doesn't work for some reason okay so if your friends are trying to join they will need to do the server manager that I just showed you guys. They will need to add the server and then they'll have to put in your public IP information in here. So to get your public IP information, I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick, okay? Alright, so just simply launch up a browser and we're just going to type in what is my IP address. And I usually use what is my IP address.com. Okay, so it's going to show your public IP information here, right in the IPv4. I will probably blur mine out just for privacy sakes. Um, but do give this uh, IP information out to your friends. They will need to type in that IP into that server manager and just keep the port at 77777. All right. All right. So the other method is simply just inviting your friends to the shift tab and just simply right clicking on somebody. I don't know if it's going to work because I'm invincible. All right. Well, I guess they need to have the game first. That will be the other method. Yeah, and you do want to link up your Epic Gaming account to Satisfactory if your friends are on Epic Gaming and they plan to play from that platform. So, yeah, good luck, you guys. And hope this has helped. And enjoy. Consider liking and subscribing to help me out with YouTube's algorithm. And feel free to comment down below what dedicated server you want to see next. And don't forget to check out my other videos on dedicated server setups. I may have created one just for you already. Other than that, you all have a great rest of your day or night. Cheers.